You know, I would say probably the biggest highlight is getting to meet credit union people and getting to work with them, uh, for them, uh, and about credit unions. It's it's probably one of the the biggest treasures I've I've experienced is the. It's the giving nature, it's the people helping people, and seeing it manifest in so many ways uh, throughout the communities that credit unions serve, uh, helping actual uh, people, members, uh, giving back to the communities, supporting our communities at a time when uh, so much of that is needed throughout the country. So I would say that's the biggest treasure is, uh, and, and the, probably the biggest highlight of my first couple of years is just getting the chance to meet and work with uh, so many fantastic credit union people. You know, I've got five priorities, and uh, it starts with number one, delivering a fierce, interdependent, 360-degree advocacy to remove barriers between credit unions uh, and their members. That's number one. Uh, number two is creating uh, better awareness of the credit union difference in the marketplace, not only for policymakers, uh, but also for consumers, for potential new members of credit unions. Uh, third is uh, recognizing that we are in a very disruptive financial services marketplace and ensuring that credit unions have relevancy, not only today, but for years to come, uh, is, is the third most important priority is delivering those solutions to ensure our relevance. Uh, number four is delivering a unified, interdependent uh, CUNA League value proposition of membership. Uh, we do a great job in advocacy and delivering that value proposition for our members, but ensuring that they understand that is going to be important. And number five is winning is growing. I, I really feel like uh, the opportunity for credit unions to grow and serve whole new generations of Americans, as well as new communities uh, throughout America, is an important goal. I would say we're, we're focused on three important goals as we look into 2017. One is we'll have a new Congress, new president. Uh, we will uh, also have uh, new members of the board at the NCUA and, and throughout a number of our agencies that we obviously have to interact with and be advocates with. And uh, so we have a real opportunity there to present a bold, aggressive agenda uh, in a very unified, interdependent way with our league partners and with our credit union members. And so that's gonna be an exciting opportunity for us as we, as we look forward. Uh, second is that we continue to change and, and evolve the advocacy model. Too many associations that I've seen uh, outsource their advocacy. You know, they hire law firms or lobbyists. That's great, you need a few of them. But the differentiation for CUNA and the leagues is that real people build relationships with policymakers at all levels, whether it's at the state level, at the federal level, at the agency level, Congress, uh, and even up to the White House. And they are actually advocates that have built relationships about the credit union difference. And that's the differentiation between us and any other, uh, any other association. And then the third is that we need to, and we're going to be building out the capacity to create better awareness of the credit union difference. Too many people just don't know uh, the difference between a credit union and other financial institutions. And our ability to enter that marketplace, both to provide support for our advocacy efforts, as well as to create awareness for consumers uh, and even current uh, credit union members that could expand uh, their business that they already do with credit unions is a key goal and something I'm looking forward to. You know, my, my leadership philosophy is I, I, I practice four words is what I think about. Listen, learn, help, and lead. Uh, first is listen. You can't do anything in this world if you don't understand what the problem is, what the challenge is, what the opportunity is. So I spend a lot of time uh, listening, listening to my members, listening to credit union people, listening to policymakers, uh, listening to a lot of folks who are providing inputs into the strategy and the work and the policies that we uh, that we're working on. So listen is number one, uh, and that's also important when you're also listening to your team. Your team is I'm surrounded by some fantastic people, and they give me great advice. They they add value every day, so I listen to them and and as a result, uh, constantly are adding value to what I'm learning. And that's the second, learn. I'm constantly trying to learn new ways to do the same things that are probably pretty bedrock kinds of things. Ad advocacy is a good example. Uh, advocacy has been done 
often the same way for a long time, but there's so many new methods that we can employ, or older methods, uh, tried and true methods that need a refresh. Uh, we've done that with advocacy this year in our grassroots uh, work, such as the member activation program and building a grassroots network of credit unions communicating with actual credit union members and getting them involved in the advocacy process. So listen, learn, help. Help is the third word because if you're not willing to, you know, roll up your sleeves and get into the mud puddle with everybody else and help, nobody's going to trust you. Nobody's going to think you're, you know, you're trying to get anything accomplished. You're just, you know, I don't know, you're a prima donna, you're, you're, just, you're just there as a figurehead or whatever. I think you've got to demonstrate that you're willing to do the work that you ask everyone else uh, to help you do. And I think if you do those three things, if you're constantly listening, if you're constantly learning, if you're always there to be a servant leader, help, people will say, hey, there's a leader. And so lead becomes uh, not so much obvious, but definitely uh, easier to accomplish. And uh, people generally are thirsty for bold leadership, particularly if you've used those three building blocks of listen, learn, and help to build up to that. So those are, that's kind of the philosophy that I, it's pretty simple, uh, but it's worked for me in a lot of different roles over my, uh, over my career. You know, it's interesting, I came to Madison, Wisconsin, right? Yeah, my summer vacation consisted of uh, a little bit of fishing, some cub, uh, cub game, um, uh, spending time with my family and my kids, uh, doing some uh, uh, tubing out on Lake Kaganza where, uh, uh, where we've got a little summer, summer cabin where, with my folks. And so summer vacation was pretty simple uh, this year. It's kind of fun to be able to work out of, of the Madison operation and uh, of CUNA and to be able to do that um, in a little lower key way, get out of Washington, which is just can be a very crazy place, almost a surreal place at times, particularly during an election year. So uh, summer for me was, uh, or at least my summer vacation, if you will, uh, was spent in Madison, Wisconsin, a cool place to be.